He hits a button, and there he goes. Coming out. Oh, wow. Oh, so you don't have any, the, normally the sail's sitting all slacked on the bottom. Right. That's buried inside the mast. It's called a roller furling main. Roller furling main. Yeah. 5602. 5602. Okay, on 30 pounds, that was a fun one. Woo! Right on, appreciate it, thank you. Thank you for the uh, call out. All right, this is Desert Tom on the Curve Finder, and our my bag is full, so we gotta go in. It's not a really big bag, but I've got it. Yes, oh, it's not a very big bag, but it's too full. I gotta go in. You guys on the radio. Thirty-two, fifty-six, one eighteen, zero two. Eight miles. All right, there's yellowfin up here. Eight miles. We got all the sport boats out here. It is 12:38. We got a yellowfin on board. Looking for that next hookup. Got the spreader bar out still. Daisy chain with the pink birds and that Nomad DTX minnow. Let's go. Beautiful. We got a lot of turns right here. It's about one o'clock, 1:30. I'm trolling the two spreads through. I'm gonna drop the spreader bar a little further back. But we had, there's four turns flying. Still some birds over here. About two and a half miles from the spot. A little bit east of the, or two and a half miles from the 289. Up here, the 289. Lucky and get bit. Getting lit up on the fish finder here. And this is the warmest water that we found 69.5, 69.4. We're about a mile south of the uh, 289. Hoping to get number two. And we're going to dip it out east and then loop back around, be the 43 this evening time for the evening bite, sunset bite. All right, we're making our approach. It's 12.45 right now. We got a whole bunch of turn birds up in the sky. The sport boat's out here, and we're about eight miles from the 289. We're sending it to San Clemente Islands over there, and we're sending it the distance today, making it happen. So hopefully, yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of bird in front of this boat. Oh, okay. There's a whole bunch of birds. Oh, dang! Did they all dip down, or is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's a good. That's a good idea. Yeah, there was a whole pack of birds flying down, tight to the water. All, all white birds too. Is it? Is stuff showing up on the bird, bird radar? You know, I see a bunch of stuff, but it's hard to tell what's birds and what's not. Looking like tuna here. There's some splashing. All these birds, white birds. All these birds moving.
come up with to the 289. All right, we got the patty right here. I'm gonna troll by, I got this patty right here, and then there's another one where that bird's flying over. I'm gonna pull the spreader bars right by them. A Dorado or Yellowtail might smash it. Patty action. Doesn't look like there's any fish on it. All right, I'm out here fishing on the sailboat. Trolling hard, you know it, that's how we're doing it. Yellowfin tuna on the Nomad DTX Minnow. Fish hard, troll hard. We're tracking these, got a couple turn birds. About four turn birds, and then we got birds to the side. Already got one yellow fin in the kill bag. And then something's going on, I'm just tracking right beside these birds. And they're white birds, turn birds too. That's the good, that's what we want, as we saw earlier. But no signs of dolphins, just a lot of white caps. We're doing work. All right, time to get this bad boy filleted up. It moves so yeah, much, it's right, right at 30, 30 huh? Yeah, pretty close to 30. Yeah, so it's probably 32 or 33. Definitely, uh, definitely over 30. Yeah. You're getting closer, but you still have yeah, yeah at least another hundred, uh, 200, 200 feet or yards. One, and then the blue one and then orange, unless orange is next and then I'll only have a hundred feet. It's on that Saltiga, that's a 50 or 40? I believe it's a 50. 50. Oh, here we go. We're a hundred feet it's away. Doing Back work. Yeah, get that gap ready. Up higher, huh? They're doing like the same thing last time out here. I didn't really see San Clemente out there. There's a sport boat. Dang, he's working, huh? This could be a bluefin. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's at the end of this orange, huh? Then it goes yep. to your leader. Same thing that DTX Minnow 165 Nomad. Oh, I think I see some deep color. Keep it moving at the same speed, you think? Yeah, I think we're good. I don't want him to get ahead of the boat. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I think he's in a nice spot. Might have to, um... You know what I'll do is I'll come over that way here. When and he I can disconnect off. these? Yeah. You want, yeah. Uh, no, actually, no, I don't like it, so. And then hang them and pull them through this? I'm just, it's bigger. Oh, no, I think I saw yellow. I don't know if it's bluefin or, damn, that's nice. He's digging. Keep it in the same speed, the boat. Yeah, uh huh. I want us to be moving forward. Yes. Oh, here. It's a nice yellow fin. Oh, 
There you go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Step back. I'm gonna move back. Step back. Got him? <clears throat> yeah, but I still got him on my He's wheel. heavy. Here, let me let me undo these holding them like this. Just a second. <clears throat> Take that out of gear. It's out of gear. Okay. Wow. On that DTX minnow. All right, before we do anything else, let's put these back. Good night. Yeah, dude. Right here? Just as good as the They like this lure. Green mackerel DTX Minnow 165. Crushing it. Number two, egg is on fire. So you think maybe uh, put the fish in this one and use the Yeti to steal yeah, it? That Yeti's good for uh, sticking over the end and it's got a really thick handle. But watch your foot, you're on the gap. Look how much. Away goes the spreader bar. The DTS minnow outperformed the spreader bar big time today. So I'm gonna put on mine. It's a little smaller, but see you later, Tormentor. It moves great, but it didn't get bit. Not much color left on this one though.
How far do you have yours? Mine is about 200 foot back. Or should I send mine further back, you're Maybe saying? Way back. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll do it far. I was fighting. Yeah, it's a fish. Uh, on the bottom, definitely no tuna. It's probably a Dorado. Now it doesn't feel like it's on. No. Got off? Yeah, I think it popped off. It definitely felt like there was a fish on it. You just leave it, don't you want to just leave I'm it just out there? I'm just gonna uh, check it for kelp. Okay. Been out there for a while. Probably a small Dorado. Go ahead and crank us up to like 18.
Sunset Riders. Oh, that's all the way at the bottom. That yeah. And there's almost there clutter be... down at 150. Yeah, you're right. All right, sunset jigging at the 43 now. About 645. Set me set me up on a little drift here. Really? Oh yeah. Are you about a hundred yet? Uh-huh. Yeah, look at that. That big blue blob is you. You're, you're right. Oh my god. This going through them? Like no, I've gone 300. Oh, yeah. I'm bringing it up. I was just at 300. With everything's at 150. That's showing like super strong marks now. I see that. Wow. That's looking really good. Now, is You're, it going straight back? Yeah, it's going straight back. Man, that was definitely something down there. <laughs> right? It gets you fired up. I'm telling you, that was definitely something down there. There's no doubt that's uh, some type of fish. I've been bringing a blue pin up from here. <laughs> uh huh. Have you hit bottom yet? I did. I dropped it for so long until I finally hit the bottom, but it scoped so far out. Yeah, maybe. I'm also I'm thinking almost like walking up the rail and then dropping and walking it back, but then I would have to either bring it around all this stuff or fish yeah, off in front be, of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I got my biggest lure at 500 grams. Wait, look at the sonar! Bro! <laughs> Woo! What a day! Now about 8.30 right now? 36 miles from San Diego. We got two yellow fin. Already got them all processed out. That's nice. And what about five hours? Uh, probably six hours. I bet. Six, almost seven. Back into the slip, possibly. Yeah.